That's the whole story, guys. Offense for defense was the last three minutes or so. There was a four-minute gap where he was on the bench. There was no offense and defense. He wasn't on the court. He was sitting down watching just like us, okay? That's what we have to pay attention to. This is a future Hall of Fame. He's a three-time champion. He's been to six finals in eight years. He's got a lot to do with the success of the Golden State Warriors. You respect the hell out of Draymond Green. Here's the reality. 4.3 points per game. 23% shooting, zero from three-point range. It is clearly four-on-five basketball when the Golden State Warriors have the basketball. Draymond Green offensively against this Boston Celtics team has been a liability. And so as a result of that, you are Steve Kerr. Yes, you made the switch, but what you are praying and hoping against hope is that Draymond Green embraces this as a challenge, the ultimate challenge of his career, and he goes out there and tries to make himself relevant. Just because you can't hit a jump shot doesn't mean you can't drive to the basket, doesn't mean you can't draw a foul, doesn't mean that you can't do something to contribute to the offense of the Golden State Warriors to take some of the pressure off the baby face assassin. Well, at least he had